first casualty of war is truth. The second is hope. And while truth may be easy to regain, hope remains elusive. More so for Somalia, where 20 years of civil war has not only destroyed livelihoods, but also decimated the sense of hope and the prospect of a better future. Amidst all this stands a beacon of hope, a pillar of academic excellence, a reservoir of dreams and free thought, a university, a diamond in the rough. 1991, a crucial moment in Somalia's history. After the collapse of the Somali government in 1991, life practically came to a standstill in the war-torn nation. Destruction and displacement became the norm of the day as the effects of the war took its toll on the country's economic, political and social spheres. This was extended to the country's lone university, the Somali National University, which was completely destroyed. Whatever remained were ruins of one of the leading intellectual hubs in the Horn of Africa. The country was faced with a new dilemma, a new generation of Somalis forced to choose the bullets over the books. However, community efforts saw the establishment of primary and secondary schools in various parts of the country. And when in 1995, the first batch of students graduated from high schools in Mogadishu, the idea of setting up a university was received with enthusiasm. To explore the idea, a group of Somali professors and intellectuals met at the capital to discuss this possibility. In 1996, they visited universities in countries such as Yemen, Jordan, Qatar, Pakistan, Turkey, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Sudan, and Malaysia. At the end of that year, the committee's ambition to dream of a better world took over and they set the preparation for opening a university in 1997. September 22nd, 1997 was the due date and the first campus was put up in the former Mohamud Ahmed Ali Secondary School. Mogadishu University was started with a vision to bridge the educational gap in the country to produce an educated human resource and with a dedication to preserve national cultural heritage while enforcing expertise and excellence. To achieve this, the Varsity started off with three faculties, Faculty of Sharia and Law, Faculty of Education with three departments, and Faculty of Arts and Humanities with three departments. But true to the reality on the ground, the excitement of the inauguration was short-lived. A militia group took over the university campus, forcing the university to relocate to the newly renovated Sinai Hotel. As it expanded over the years, 
Mogadishu University expanded to other locations within the capital city. The growth of the university saw the introduction of four other faculties over the years, namely economics and management sciences, nursing, computer science and information technology, and the faculty of political science and information. Brimming with confidence and with the graduation of the first group of students, Mogadishu University embarked on a project that was to create the biggest university campus in Somalia. Dubbed the University City and located around seven kilometers outside Mogadishu city center, the project was meant to transform the provision of tertiary education in the whole of Somalia. With the help of both local and international donors, the foundation of the campus was laid on the 10th of April, 2002. It set a precedent for the university to move out of rental premises to a fully-fledged campus. Besides, the campus was expected to house 12 faculties and more than 10,000 students. Students resumed classes in this campus in 2005 while construction continued on the other parts of the site. And in 2008, less than three years after the opening of the university's main campus in the capital city, Mogadishu University opened a new campus in Bosaso, Puntland, in the semi-autonomous region in northeastern Somalia. For a city caught in the flying shrapnel and choking dust, there has been the urge to dismiss the provision of quality education. Through qualitative courses, Mogadishu University has been at the forefront of molding a generation of peacemakers and intellectuals who aspire to create a better tomorrow. The Faculty of Sharia and Law, for instance, is meant to produce professional Islamic scholars who are familiar with modern international legal systems. The Faculty of Education was also established to meet the need for high-quality teachers in the country. With specializations in Arabic language, Islamic studies, social sciences, math and physics, biology and chemistry, it sets the trend in reviving a much-needed skill base for the country. The Faculty of Arts and Humanities is also very important because it broadens the students' critical thinking abilities. This is achieved with various concentrations in Arabic literature, English literature, history and civilization, and geography. After the successful operation of the first three faculties, Mogadishu University introduced the Faculty of Economics and Management Sciences in 1999, which trains students in the fields of economics, business administration, public administration, and accounting. In September 2000, the High Institute of Nursing was established, training students for a three-year diploma course. However, in 2006, the institute was converted into the Faculty of Nursing, a four-year program that was meant to boost the health sector that was devastated by the civil war. The Faculty of Nurse is providing a qualified and well-trained uh, nurse and health workers 